Will you dream of Roman galleys and the long-oared Viking ships? Oh, them corsair craft of Barbary, their owners willed in whips. Oh, the fleets what quitted Venice when the east and west was new. And them proud sea castles out to Spain, the old Sargasso knew. Perhaps you dream of roaring days when clippers raced with tea. And a wisp of steam off finished ear proclaimed a change at sea. But I see a different kind of craft what never knew the sea. And the men who yarn upon her decks are sunburnt strong and free. Oh, no sordid gallant stride her planks, and she flies no pennants bright. But her headlamps light her muddy course beneath the western night. Oh, she carries gold from orange groves and wealth from western runs. And naught she knows of polar stars, but much of a western sun's. Oh, she'll start at Petticoota, pause at Badham for a while. Then with her paddles throbbing swing around the ninety mile. And in the long December days with Christmas round the bend. Yes, she'll swing in past the Golgol Punton to her journey's end. Oh, but she runs no more. The rivers are locked, the olden days are gone. Swift motors race the western roads and plains out saw the swan. Oh, she lies neglected in the mud. Her engines choked with rust, to her crew long since forgotten, and her skipper in the dust. And there is no laughing on her deck, no singing at her wheel, and the white ants build a city in the remnant of her keel. Oh, but down from Burke to Wentworth, from Wodonga to the sea, there stand the little town she made her mark of memory. Oh, she fed them and she clothed them, and she took them in and out. In the years of the beginnings and the flush times and the drought, and on the silent reaches where the lonely night hawk screams, yes, you'll hear paddles beating up the river of your dreams.